be going down, people of the world? Thought I'd try something different today. The fuck was that? The hell? Oh, hello there. What? You going down, people of the world? Thanks so much for joining me for another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we got something big and special and fancy and beautiful. This is a big fat bottle of winter. An Imperial Stout by the Highlander Brewing Company out of South River, Ontario, coming in at 10% ABV. Hell yes. I have this bottle, and I have another bottle in the fridge that, on the orders of the owner of the brewery, I must not drink for one year. I must see how it holds up. They made this a few years ago, had it on the channel, loved it, it was delicious, and this is their newest iteration of it. Each bottle hand numbered, hand numbered. I believe they made 1,000 of them. This is bottle 944, so... Yeah, and it's a an imperial stout with water, malt, hops, yeast, cinnamon, ginger, and orange rind. So it's not just a straight up imperial stout. You know, Highlander usually doesn't do a whole lot of adventurous, crazy, interesting things. And I feel like this is something that is going to maybe blow people's minds when they realize that this is from Highlander. So with that in mind, that's a great start to everything. The little frickin' twist thing there didn't work. Somebody twisted that too much. Fail. First time in a while mm. I've had to break out a frickin' pair of pliers to open a beer. Might be it might be the first time ever. I think I can maybe just go like this. And like, you know how wire is. Yeah, it just breaks. So, take off the protector thing. Nothing really exciting happening there. I was actually at the brewery when they were doing this, and this process is ridiculously labor-intensive. Like, there's a machine that comes in and actually pushes the cap in, then this thing here gets put on, you gotta turn the little thing, and yeah, it's ridiculous. And also, yeah, I had a feeling this was gonna happen, so I came prepared. This is not a cork that is going to want to come open easily at all, so say it's cheating, say what you want, I don't care. If it works, that's all I care about. I would still like to really get the, the pop, so I'm going to try to... You know how I do it. I enjoy La Poppy Corky. I'm a fan. So. Come on. Come on. Do it. God, that's in there. Good. Okay, I think it's about to go. Here we go. Are you kidding me? So disappointing. Let's see what we got. Okay, I was scared. I was actually a little bit frightened. I thought maybe the beer wasn't properly carbonated or something, but that is... That's, that's head right there. For sure, so everything is completely fine in that regard. It's just unusual that the cork didn't really do anything. That's a beautiful looking freaking Imperial Stout right there. Look at the head on that. Look at that. Look at it. Flocking gorgeous. Where's my freaking... Why is everything missing? It's been a couple days since I did a rib beer review. Can you tell? Ha ha ha. Let's see that. Light. Jesus. That's all three levels and nothing. Nothing coming through. Turn off. Oh yeah, that's a thing that happened too. I feel like you might wanna you might wanna know. This is Gandalf. Say hello to Gandalf. He is my new friend. He's He's to hopefully bridge the unnecessary gap of weirdness between my current cat and my current dog. And he's great. He's absolutely fantastic. And maybe maybe he wants to chill up there? Let's see. 
Why not? Anyway, let's smell the beer, shall we? D delightful. Chocolate, coffee. I feel like maybe I'm getting a bit of that cinnamon. Not really getting the orange rind. What else was the ginger they said? Yeah, they got some of me in there. Doesn't smell like me. Let's give her a shot. That's delightful. Unbelievably smooth. Yeah, the, the cat has its claws buried deep into my back flesh right now. It's fantastic. Um, yeah. This is as perfect an example of a great Imperial Stout as I've ever had. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And cheers to everybody over at Highlander. Beard, big fan of everybody over there. Dangerously smooth. Like really not, not bitter at all. Just like the notes of coffee, chocolate. I'm not really getting the flavors of the cinnamon, the ginger, or the orange peel, but it just all works. It's just so well balanced. Oh yeah. Definitely excited to see how these flavors mature and do things throughout the next 12 months. HighlanderBruco.com will bring you to HighlanderBruco.com. If you're passing through the, well, that's just driving down Highway 11, there'll be a town called South River. The exit signs will be there. And there'll be a big sign that says craft beer this way with a Highlander, with, with this right there. And I highly recommend you pull off the road. Check them out. They also do free shipping on a 2-4. Like mix and match the 2-4, however you want. 24 cans of beer, whatever different beers you want. Free shipping to your door anywhere in Ontario. Way more breweries need to jump on that bandwagon. And the way it works is it, it costs like 30% or something like that of the beer cost to list it in the LCBO. And instead, they just pay that 30% the same cost. That's the shipping cost. So it, it costs the brewery the same to sell you the beer, regardless of whether you buy it in the LCBO or you have it shipped right to your door. It's a really, really, really awesome business model they got going on. And he's just... He's a great little kitty. If you don't get the name, Gandalf, Lord of the Rings, he's Gandalf the mostly gray, or Gandalf the the barely white. He's got the the white on the toes. He's great. This beer is great. The length of time I've been recording, not so great. So, breaky break. This is an absolutely fantastic example of an imperial stout. I've been talking to Highlander. Dwayne from Highlander, haven't talked to the head brewer Brian yet, but I really, 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 really want them to brew this again and put it into some bourbon barrels or something like that for a year at least, because I feel like this would be astonishing if it had that kind of really, really good chocolatey, amazing bourbon kind of kick that can come out of those kind of things. Oh, that'd be so good. As it stands, though. Aside from it, I can't recall, I think it's $20 a bottle, might be $25. It's an expensive bottle of beer, 10%, it's a $7.50, it's a big bottle, which a lot of breweries aren't doing these days, but, like, in my opinion, to buy a few of them, you know, that's a lot of money, but to buy one, share it with some friends or something like that, 100% worth it. Because the flavor, it's warmed up 100%, not even a little bit cold anymore. It was good cold. It's even a little bit more bitterness, I guess, has come out now that it's warmed up a bit. That coffee kind of, that raw, chewing on a roasted coffee bean kind of bitterness, which I've done. If you haven't done it, I recommend trying it. Coffee beans can be tasty. Rating-wise, 
only found on Untapped, and it's not a uh, what does it say? When was it added? Did it say that? It doesn't say when it was. I thought I thought it was said on, on Untapped when it was added. Regardless, 4.02 out of five with 78 ratings overall. So it's it's enjoyed. And again, I've got one more bottle in the fridge. It's gonna sit there, maybe be you know turned or something, or just lovingly cared for for 12 months or so, and then we'll see how it goes. But for now, drink number the last. Highlander Brewing your 2020 I think it was to come out 20 to 2019 I don't know end of 2019 beginning of 2020 wait well, you no know, it says there we go 2019 so but end of 2019 regardless meh, rating 10 I love this beer I love it so much <clears throat> I I might get more because, yeah, again, I want to share this with people. I want people to, to taste this and experience Highlander not being just middle of the road. This is this is something special. And with that in mind, if you've had this beer, let me know in the comments what you thought. And aside from that, we're, we're done. So, you know, if you liked it, smash the sma smash. <laughs> Thumbs up in the face. You know how it goes. Blah, 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 blah. Something like this tomorrow. Worst outro ever. A Peace out! Worst outro I've done in quite some time. One and only beer I've had today. I guess I haven't eaten enough or something like that. But it just kind of randomly out of the blue kicked me in the side of the head. She's potent.